because um, I don't want it to be too like I mean we're in church, even though we're in God's presence. It's a dinner. Uh, first of all, I want to say um, I'm grateful to God for my marriage's work because that is where we started from. Um, it's real. I when the door started, I mean, okay, let me say when I was in Nigeria, I was everywhere. I was everywhere. I was I was in church. I was so busy. I got caught up with everything I was doing. So I wasn't bothered about, I mean, after I had a little break up. So after that, I just got so, I soaked myself in doing God's work, doing my own thing. So I wasn't bothered about that any longer. I just said, well, if it happens, let me just focus on God and building my career in the entertainment industry and real estate. So I was just doing my own thing and you know, sometimes you can be just so caught up before you know it, time is just going. You are not even, you know, everybody is just okay, okay, okay. Sometimes you can be so busy that you focus so much on other people and you you, you forget about yourself. So it became, I mean, my marriage was work. Pastor Kenny, my brother, I've been seeing their program, I've been, I've been watching them. And I was like, okay, this is wonderful. So suddenly, my brother started talking about a lady. And I was like, I have a lot of people around me, so what do you mean by, you know, at least I know myself, I can talk. <laughs> so it's beyond us being able to talk. It's about divine connection, being with the right person, knowing the right person. And sometimes, you know, I, I, I thought, yes, I know what to do. But it got to a point I got a little bit confused. As with the help of my marriage was work, there was direction. You know, when I mean when I was introduced to her, at first, you know, it was awkward. I was just like, ah, I'm in Nigeria. Someone is and I just said, look, it's not like me, don't come and tell me because you are, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I, I also, then another thing, because I don't want people to get confused when they say, okay, they are, I mean, make them matchmakers to last. Because I might be questioned, of, okay, so where is God factor? You know, which is very important. Yeah. There's God factor in it. I believe they do this by the Spirit of God. We can be uh, well, even testimony. Because by the time I was introduced, I said, Look, we have prayed about it, but go and pray. And let's go speak to you. And at first I was like, ah, this person, me. Ah, how come? But I allowed God to speak, okay, God, I want your will to be done. And that was how we started. We had the issue of, okay, you are in this place, I'm in another place. Okay, so how do we come together? But we prayed about it. And God gave me an instruction. Because I like to do things with God in all my things and with it. And they prayed as well. And I, I want to say one thing. They don't force people on each other. They just make a recommendation with the direction of God. The choice is still yours. So, you that are listening, watching online, don't think go and be saying that. They will just that product calculate, you to go and calculate, no. Anyways, to cut the long story short, we, we met and we started talking. And when I spoke with her, I, felt, I mean, she, she can pray. Because I love people that are praying. That was how we started. I don't want to say a lot of because of the five minutes. So there's so much to say. And the whole thing, there were a lot of signs from I mean, they started praying about it, I started praying about it then. Our spirit started journey. From there, things changed about my life. And I noticed that anytime I want to do anything, even when she was here, I was there, we just prayed about it. Doors open. 
doors open. I said, ah, I think this is where God is. We shall build a better here. <laughs> and then let me let her talk because I have a lot to say, but we are two products and our marriage is working. Amen. And we will continue to work. Amen. Let me let her talk. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to Pastor Kenny and Apostle. So, um, Pastor Kemi, like she said, at the time she met me, I was in an abusive relationship, but I was just enduring. I thought that was God's will for me. The person was a Christian, but obviously it wasn't God's will. But I just kept on. And then she met me and we got talking and then I told her a bit about myself and she said I need to, to leave that relationship. Long story short, I left that relationship, but I kept going back because I was really attached to the person. Eventually, God helped me because the relationship was really um, abusive. Police were involved. There was a lot of physical you know, abuse. And eventually, when I left, I started praying to God. She said, OK, we'll begin to pray for God to divinely visit you. And God did. I just left everything. I was just focused on my job, my studies, um, service in church and everything. And Pastor Kemi started ministering to me. She took me like her younger sister. And then one day she came to my house with her husband to talk to me about insurance. And her husband, I didn't know he was even observing me, you know, the way I was talking to a boss who I was just I was just being natural myself. I, I was so polite. I collected her bags, took to the car. I was kneeling down. I was thanking her. I didn't know that I was looking at me. And then eventually he, he asked her, Who is this lady? Is she, you know, I just, my spirit just jumps with her because it was eventually Pastor Ken was telling me, I was like, Really? So he now said, Ah, did bother this lady? She'll be good for this year. This girl like this girl. I didn't know what was happening. So eventually, long story cut short, they introduced me to PC. Initially, they sent me his Facebook profile, his, his Instagram. I went looked at it, looked, looked at his post. You know, got an idea of what kind of guy he was. He goes to House of the Rock. He's. I'm like, this guy is too social. He's too. There will be too many women around him. I need to tell him. I was really worried. But I kept praying. And then I saw one of his profiles. Someone was calling him Romeo. I'm thinking, oh my God. They call the guy Romeo. That means there are too many women in his life. I was worried. I would tell Pastor Kemi, any concern, I'll come to Pastor Kemi. She says, I will just be praying. The first time I spoke with this brother, I just fell in love with his voice. And I'm like, what is happening? So we, we now we were talking. Was so soft. I said, God, this guy, his voice is soft. <laughs> so eventually, <laughs> we started praying. He asked me, What do I like? You know, he was very intelligent. He asked me things that. This was when? This was um, 2019. 2019. He asked me questions that guys had not really asked me about before. He wanted to know. What do I want to do? What are my passions? What is my calling? He was able to identify things that I didn't even know. I had my giftings. He was able to. And it was confirmation because I've had people tell me about that. Long story short, we met in Abuja when I went home. He came, he flew from Lagos to meet me. We met in the restaurant, took, took him to my family. They saw him. We kept praying. Then I came back to London and then. We did the introduction. He came here and then we did the church marriage and it was awesome. And I would say that this man, he has a very, he's very gentle, he's very kind. He listens to me. He, he's very loving as well. He, he exceeded my expectation, that's what I would say. Yes, for 
as well for those who are trusting God. There is nothing God cannot do. Hallelujah. And I believe this ministry we're just seeing the beginning. Mm. Seven, the Bible says that when the perfect man comes, the imperfect shall be done away with. Yeah, yeah. I believe that all this while, God has been watching to see how he can entrust you with greatness and his coming. Mm. And I believe this is the beginning of a global mission. Amen. So get ready. Amen. Please don't stop believing God. Mm. And I believe there will be testimony for those who dance tonight. God will blow your mind. Thank you. Yeah.